In my last video, we have seen the working of three degrees of freedom manipulator using ROS and MoveIt. There I have used the interactive marker to set the target position of the manipulator and moved it to that position or follow a trajectory. Link to this video is attached in the description. Now moving on, I have taken this manipulator to the next level by adding vision to it. This manipulator is now able to track a object by its color. The manipulator will move its end effector to the top of this blue color object if it lies within the reachable workspace. So in this video, we are going to see how this is working. Let me show you the complete picture of the setup. As you can see, I have mounted a camera here and the manipulator is right under the camera. Now let's see what manipulator is actually seeing. Before that, I'll open Arway's Move It and Control Manager nodes using realrobot.launch file. Here is our manipulator in Arway's. Now let's run track blob node to see the manipulator's view. This node will open two windows. This is one and here is the other. This is a binary image which is generated after filtering the colors. We'll talk about this later. For now let's check this window. As you can see the manipulator is able to detect the blue color object. This is the base of the manipulator and is fixed. It is continuously calculating the distance of the object from its base. Now I'll run ROS serial node to connect Arduino and ROS. Motors are now ready to take commands. Finally, let's make the manipulator follow the object using the execute motion node. See, the manipulator is following the object. Now it's time to understand the code behind this. For this object tracking task, I've written two nodes, track blob and execute motion node. Let's open these files and understand the code in each file. Let's start with track blob node. I'm importing ROSPy and some ROS messages along with CV2 and NumPy. This line will make use of USB camera to capture video. This publisher is used to publish the position coordinates of the object on the topic follow blob. This loop is the heart of the script. Here I'm converting the captured images from BGR format to HSV format. Here I'm setting the thresholds for blue color. We will see how to find these threshold values for different colors later. The variable blue is a binary image which is obtained after filtering the blue threshold values. Here I'm plotting the position of the base of the manipulator which is fixed at this point on the image. 
Next, find the contours in this binary image. Each white spot in this image is a contour. Here, I am picking the contour with the maximum area. This blue object will have the maximum area in this image. These lines will draw a rectangle around the detected blue object in the color image. This is the important part. Here is where I have calibrated the pixel distance in the 2D image to get the distance between the object and the base of the manipulator in the real world. The values here 0.06 and 0.75 may vary if I change the viewing position of the camera. Now I know the target position of the end effector from base. I am publishing this new target position of the end effector here. I will publish this new target position only if the object has moved more than 1 cm in any direction when compared to its previous position. This is what I am doing in the trap blob node. Now let's check execute motion script. In this node, I have initialized a move it commander and a subscriber which is subscribed to the topic follow blob. So whenever I publish the new target pose on the topic follow blob from the track blob node, my callback function in the subscriber node is called. In my callback method, we are sending the target position to the move group, which in turn will move the manipulator. So this is what is happening behind the scene. Now we will see how to find the thresholds of different colors. I have written this python script to find the thresholds of color that we wish to filter. In this script, I will be using track bars to select the levels of each threshold. This line is to capture the video from USB cam. Then define a named window and add track bars for each threshold levels of HSV. Here I am getting the values of thresholds from track bars. These are the lower and upper thresholds of HSV. This line will give us a binary image after filtering the colors in the range of the specified thresholds of HSV. These lines will show the binary image and the color image of the captured video. Now let's run this script and see how to use the track bars to get the threshold values. Here is my original image window, track bars window and uh, the binary image window. Since the lower thresholds of HSV are at 0 and the higher thresholds of HSV are at 255, all the colors are allowed by the filter. Hence we are seeing a complete white binary image. Now let me change the values of thresholds using track bars. See the filter started working and allowing only few colors. Now I'll try to filter only the maroon color. Here it is. Now I can note these threshold values and apply it to the filter in track blob node to track the maroon color object. Lastly, I'll try to filter the black color. See, these thresholds are allowing only black color in the image. This is how we can find the thresholds of the required color and apply it in the track blob code. Now the best part about fixing the base point is that the manipulator need not be under the camera. Rather, manipulator can be anywhere away from the camera and still the end effector will move according to the movements of the object under the camera. Now I'll move this manipulator away from the camera and move this object here. C 
see still the manipulator is tracking the colored object. So I can keep this manipulator anywhere and draw any pattern by moving this object under the camera. So this is all about tracking a colored object using ROS and OpenCV. Hope you liked this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos on robotics. The link to scripts of this project are attached in the description. For more stuff on robotics and ROS, go through www.rosroboticslearning.com. Thanks for watching.